Hi guys, it's Anna from Anna's Magical Moments. So we're kind of doing an unboxing. Not really, but kind of, yeah. I mean, I guess it is. Um, Indy is here again. I think he likes these YouTube videos because he just gets to lay on the bed and watch. Really just sleep. He doesn't even watch. But anyways, so before my vacation, um, I got this package in, um, but I didn't get to really do much with it. Um, but it is a headband. I have long hair and um, I'm not really, like this will never be a fashion vlog. I'm not fashionable. I'm like a t-shirts, jeans, and get out of the house kind of gal. Um, but I figured let's add some headbands. I mean headbands are pretty easy as well. Um, that's from an Etsy store called Mickey and Mandy's. Mickey and Mandy, not Mandy's. Um, they're on Etsy. It's a haunted mansion uh, type of fabric. It's pretty cool. I like haunted mansion. I don't really like the color purple, but um, oh, and my that was upside down. But figure it's haunted mansion. I'll make an exception. So you can watch me struggle putting this on because I probably will struggle because. I'm not that great at stuff like this. The hair is getting really long. Lori, it's getting long. But, you know, this is something different than putting it in a ponytail. So, I'm looking at myself in my camera. Looks good. I like it. Yay. A little touch of Disney. So, the bigger box. It's not that heavy. Just dramatic flair. So, the camera that I shoot on is a Canon EOS Rebel T51. I, sorry, not one. Um, it's my fiance's camera, and I because I kind of struggled. Like I like my Samsung for for my I have a Samsung Note, but I wanted like an actual camera that I could take with me. But I always worried about like taking the Canon with me because it's my fiance's camera. But if I bought my own camera and I beat it up, I'm not as I don't feel as guilty. I don't know if that makes sense. So I've been struggling, like I've been watching like different YouTube channels like Camera Conspiracy and like other other like vlogs um, about like cameras and you know there's so many good ones out there. I mean I don't I don't need a camera that is going to you know cure cancer on screen. I just need <laughs> I just needed a camera that I could go do some vlogs out in public and because it's my camera I don't feel guilty if I accidentally do something to it which I won't I'll take care of it um, so but my the Canon will just stay at home well it's it's a homebody um, so I bought this um, it was I don't know it was like on sale um, oh she probably loud on camera. Um, so I ended up picking a Panasonic Lumix G85. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else in the alphabet in its name. And it was funny because they had just the camera and then they had the bundles but they were all the same price so I went with the bundle. The bundle included probably what you'll see in a few minutes. So, ooh, it looks good. Panasonic GMC G85M. There's a lot of alphabets in there. Um, I'll just take out. So it included uh, an optic care and cleaning kit. Uh, what is this? Oh, a memory card wallet. A lens filter kit, another mem oops, oops, another memory card, uh, a USB card reader, a little pouch, and. A photo video art suite. Paint shop 
Pro Video Suite Aftershot and Painter Essential. I think it's just software. Um, I use Filmora for my editing if, if you're curious about what I use. Um, I, I liked how Filmora, it was, you just buy it, you don't have to like every month pay for it. Um, so that's, that's why I picked Filmora because I mean I didn't know how much, how addicting this was going to be. So I want, and plus you know, like why, like if you're going to keep paying for the rest, if, if I do this, I guess if I get more professional at it I may upgrade, but Filmora has been good. I, I like Filmora. So, owner's manual, probably to tell me how to use this thing. Um, I am very much a, I grab it and I go, I, then I like realize I need to read the instructions. And I'll go back later. So, camera, battery, and a plug. Looks like lens, lens stuff. Oh, a little strappy strap. And then the body. Is there anything else? Let's, let's see how the body looks. Oh, it's nice. So, like, the one thing that I like, a lot of the reviews said that it fits really nice in the hand. And because I have small hands, um, this actually, I like it. Like, I tried going to Best Buy to see if they had it, and they didn't have this camera, but like already like it it fits great in the hand um, has the flippy screen and so far I like it I can't wait to start using it and here's the, the kit lens it's like there's a whole nother world about it like I've watched so many YouTube videos on lenses and I don't get it like <laughs> like like I'm getting I, I'm getting more knowledgeable, like I knew nothing and now I know like 5% of things, but there's like the whole lens world is, is insane. So, um, but I just was like, you know, it comes to the kit lens, I'm going to use it. So I'm already like, I'm already in love with it because <laughs> it is a lot small. It's a little bit smaller than, than my fiance's camera. Um, I mean, mind you, it has no battery in it, but it feels a lot lighter. Um, so, like, it was like kind of like, I was like, well, maybe I should just get a small point and shoot, but there's no, like a lot of those cameras don't have an, like an extra audio that you can put like a shotgun mic or anything else. And even though I don't necessarily, uh, like I don't really do that, like the talking video, like vlogs a lot, I still wanted the option to, if I did decide to do more of that in the future. So that's why I ended up picking this. So, hey, I know, should we give it a name? Just probably call it Lumi, but I'm excited. New toy. I'll have to get to play with it later. So until next time, join us Sunday for our weekly Sunday um, theme park news. I have some stuff that I need to talk about, some exciting stuff. So, but until next time, guys, see you guys later. Bye.